What is the most smart ass thing you've said to a cop without getting a ticket? Tried to call the police to report a crime but it was not an emergency. A guy was walking around my neighborhood. Obviously casing houses. I called the police department after hours and couldn't get a hold of anyone. I passed a cop while driving and sped past him so that he would pull me over. When he said do you know why I pulled you over? I said yeah because I wanted you to so I could actually talk to an officer. He went and found the guy. And arrested him because he had a warrant out on him. A work night so the cops will occasionally cruise through our parking lot in the middle of nowhere and just check things out. I was outside on my break smoking and playing jetpack joyride when they lowered their window. What are you doing here at this time of night? Double quote. My fking job. What are you doing here at this time of night? Double quote. Our fking jobs. Have a nice night. You too. Montreal cops are nice. Despite their silly pants. My sister called the cops on me because she was drunk. Long story. Not getting into details but she used to want to build a case for getting me kicked out of the house left to both of us when our parents died. So the cops came and were clearly on her side before they even spoke to me. I asked them why they didn't assess the situation first. Talk to both of us and then figure out what was going on instead of taking her side right away. The cop literally said we take the side of the person who called us to the scene. Double quote. So I looked at copy Mr. Copperson and said okay. So why don't you leave? Go down to Dunkin Donuts and I'll call you back and then you can take my side or at least even listen to me. Double quote. We're in a car park just off the motorway in a Toyota MR2. Police pulled in and got out their car. One of the officers put his hand on the bonnet, hood, of the MR2 and said bonnet's a bit hot. Been ragging us have we? Dot. I replied funny that mate. It's rear engine. The second officer found it hilarious. The first looked incredibly embarrassed. Buddy of mine is a cop and was at a concert doing security. As in he walked in in uniform under the pretense of establishing a presence to dissuade unlawful activity. He just wanted to see Metallica. Anyway he's there and some guy lights up a joint right next to him. Turns. Looks at him. And the exchange goes. Comma oh shit. A cop. Relax. Comma really. But this is. Tobacco. It's a hand rolled tobacco cigarette. Comma no it's not. Yes. It is. Comma on. Do you want some? Get the FCK away from me. I was flying back from Europe once. At the Brussels airport I bought a jar of mustard and duty free. They sealed it in the special bag. Put it in my carry on. Get it through customs no problem. Bringing it back through Tsar in the US. At a major international airport it gets confiscated. It is in a sealed jar. In a sealed bag. Having clearly been bought at an airport and just brought through an international border. Tsar guy confiscates it. Told him to keep saving the country one jar of mustard at a time. I was pulled over a few years ago while driving 90 plus mph on a highway where the speed limit was 55. Cop pulls me over. Walks up to my window and asks for license. Insurance and registration. After I hand over my information he asks if I knew how fast I was traveling. I responded with I don't know. 90? Dot. He then asks me if I knew what the speed limit on Woodhaven Road was. I responded with I don't know. Not 90. The officer thanked me for my honesty and let me off with a warning. I feel like I was kind of being a smart ass because I was going to get a ticket anyway but turns out I was just being honest. Got pulled over on my motorcycle. Cop. Do you know why I pulled you over? Me. Cause I wasn't wearing my seatbelt. He got a chuckle and I only got a warning. Next cop didn't find it nearly as amusing. I got pulled over on a back country road in one of the most white affluent counties in NH. This was during the Ferguson riots. The 25 year old. Squeaky clean homebred white boy got out of the cruiser and came up to my window. He asked. Do you know why I pulled you over? Me and all of my Irish heritage paleness replied. Well. 
If I had to guess, I'd say racial profiling. Hay paused for a second and then burst out with a laugh. I was riding my motorcycle away from the traffic lights at a speed allowed in the area. Admittedly my engine revved rather loud. Police officer I have stopped you for speeding me. I wasn't speeding. Police officer I could tell by the sound of our engine you were speeding me that's absurd. Are you trying to tell me you can tell what speed something is going by the noise police officer yes me. Okay. Pointed at plane flying overhead what speed's that going then? No ticket. But he wasn't very amused. 16 years old. Walking back to work from my lunch break. Smoking a cigarette. Cop pulls up beside me. I walk up to his window. Yes sir. You got a light? Sure. Pull out my zippo. Light his cigarette for him. Brain telling me I'm underage and smoking so be cool. Be cool. Say something casual. So in my wisdom I say I always light my bitches cigarettes. I immediately freeze. He just chuckles and drives off. In college once thanked a cop for not being a dickhead about it. You know. Like most officers are after getting ticketed. He wrote it all down and the judge repeated that to me when I fought the ticket in court. She was clearly amused and I got out of the ticket. Well. This W was during processing. So already arrested. I had to take my barbells out of my ears. They've not been out in the 5 years they've been pierced. They asked how they were going to come out. I said well first. You have to grasp the bar. S. Then you have to work the shaft. Double quote. They all stopped and laughed at the guy that was grasping said balls. Good times. Pop. Were you eating an apple while driving? Me. Can't I eat while I drive? Cop. No. Me. But I can smoke. Cop. Yes. Me. Then I was smoking the apple. I was driving in Boston headed to a Bruins game and I missed the damn turn for the parking garage. Didn't see any cops so I decided to make an illegal U-turn at the next light. Sure enough lights go on behind me and I get pulled over. The officer comes up to my window and hits me with the do you know why I pulled you over? I said. Yeah. Cause I'm an asshole. After a good laugh and a warning. He told me to go be an asshole on the other side of the city. You know the whole chapel bit about I didn't know I couldn't do that. Basically that. Was speeding. Although I didn't know I was speeding because there wasn't a sign for miles. In a construction zone. Officer pulled me over and told me how since it's a construction zone. The ticket could have been so much worse than just a regular speeding ticket. I said I didn't know that was a thing. I mean. I know there's normally signage saying men at work. Slow down or something of that nature. But number one no signs giving me a speed limit and number two nobody working. As far as I was concerned. I was driving the normal speed limit. As I was unaware that it had dropped. I didn't know I couldn't do that got me out of like a $700 ticket. Because he let me off with a warning. I once pulled myself over after I blew through a red light. Since there was a cop right there, I was a new driver. Saw him. And freaked out. He asked me why he shouldn't write me a ticket. And I told him I really don't want you to. Double quote. Got off with a warning. Not to a cop directly but he was there and listening. I was frustrated at its our checkpoint about the ever changing policies on what can and cannot be carried, which also varies airport to airport if I may add, and at the culmination of the conversation. Out of pure frustration. I informed them of a statistic that I was aware of. At this point I was not being confrontational. Instead I was trying to spotlight the lunacy of it all and I said this while looking at the officer. You let him through with a gun. Did you know that in the US you are 8 times more likely to be killed by a cop than a terrorist? He had already focused his attention over to me. We made eye contact. Smiled and he chuckled and shrugged his shoulders. Tsar was not quite as entertained but they let me go. A party got busted when I was in college. A majority of the attendees were underage. The cocky campus policeman walked up and said well well well. 
Looks like we're going to be checking IDs and handing out underages tonight. Immediately after saying this. His 19 year old daughter walked out. I was sitting on the porch and said still want those IDs? Double quote. Driving through Kansas City I got pulled over. I was wearing a twins cap. Cop said something about being ready to give me a warning. But then he saw my cap. I said hey. It's not like the Royals and Twins have been good at the same time. He said he's actually a Cubs fan and I couldn't stop myself from saying. Oh. I'm sorry. He laughed and gave me a warning. In college the cops came by because we were being too loud in our apartment. No complaint. They were driving by and heard it. The cop asked for ID. We were all 21 and there were only 6 or so of us. One of my roommates was a DCK when he got drunk and just said I'm sorry officer. I didn't see realize I needed a license to operate this motor vehicle cop asks if we know what the noise ordinance is and he responds with 90 decibels no. There is no decibel threshold well there should be. Ended up with just a warning. My brother and I. Both underage. Both very drunk. Walking home with a dozen donuts and the remains of a six pack when the cops saw us mostly stumbling along the main road. They pulled around behind us. And scared the pants off us with the siren. One cop got out of the car. And asked us where we were going. We offered him our donuts. He took our beer. Joke was on him. It was Bud Light. They left us to continue our own way home. Don't think we'd get away with that today asked me if I had a dead body in my back seat. I said oh. Totally. You wanna meet him? He's kinda shy. He laughed. Told his partner he said totally. Took my license. Sat in their car for a minute. Then drove up next to me. Handed me my cards from their window. And drove off. I later realized that a coat and hat were on top of a mess in my back seat and actually could have looked like a dead body. I worked at the Nco club on an AF base as a teenager. I was a cook sometimes and a dishwasher. I blew through a stop sign and was speeding. Apparently I was being lit up and chased and didn't realize it until I saw the gate closing as I was trying to get off base. The security forces, AFMP, asked me a bunch of questions about it and I told him I wasn't paying attention due to my eating cheesy fries I made sitting in the passenger seat then I asked do you want some? He stared at me for a second and told me to leave. He told me how much over the limit I was going and I said well you looked bored sitting there so I figured I'd give you something to do. Laughed and let me off the whole thing with a warning. Same year I got my license, 17. I noticed that a cop car that was driving around town had one of the front lights missing. So I turned around. And flashed my high beams at him and he pulled over. I then went out of my car. Walked up to him and asked him if he knew his light was out. He got out to check and thanked me for letting him know. Not really a big deal. But pulling a cop over because his light was out must give some baddest points. He had a big Olay 1980s mustache and aviator shades on. I asked if he knows came off with the stash and glasses. Oh. Sir. I don't know how fast I was going. I'm late for my best friend's wedding. Double quote. Turned out though. He was the elder brother of a good friend from high school. So he threw his lights on and gave me an escort to the wedding. Got there on time thanks to speeding. Close bracket. I was leaving work late on a Friday night and got pulled over for a random breath test. The cop asked me if I'd been drinking and I said no. Asked where I'd been and I gave him the raised eyebrow and said work. Asked where I was that I was working so late so I just completely silently looked down at my uniform and name badge and back up at him with the really? Face. Pulled over for quickly accelerating after a traffic light. When the cop asked why. I said it was to try to get away from the asshole with their brights on. He then turned to see he still had his brights on. And said have a safe drive home. For suspected DUI, I was not drunk at all, after about 15-20 minutes of field sobriety tests. Cop. 
Do you know the difference between being intoxicated and being impaired? Do you know which one you are? Double quote. Me. One of them involves me having at least a back of 08 in the state of NY and the other is a synonym you want me to admit to so you can take me in even though I passed all your sobriety tests. Double quote. Cop. Long pause you can go. But I'm blasting out your license plate number. And if somebody else sees you so much as switch lanes without signaling. They will book you. Double quote. Dude was a ref king dick. Copper. What's that for? Me. For rolling my joints copper. Do you have weed? Me. Nah. I just finished my last joint. Ran out. It's a pain in the ass copper with a shocked face. What? Me. I said I've ran out and it's a pain in the ass. To be fair the copper was being a dick. He walked into my house without permission and refused to leave and was being very aggressive. His partner just stood there with a WTF not again face. And being stoned isn't against the law. But being in possession is. Yelling at a cop for calling me Jack Sparrow instead of Captain Jack Sparrow. Whilst heavily intoxicated and dressed as Captain Jack Sparrow. Cops flat out accused me of being high and having weed on me. I didn't. I was so flabbergasted that they would accuse me like that. I didn't deny having weed. Cue the 20 minute search for the weed on me while I laughed my ass off saying cold. Cold. Warmer. They asked me why I wasted their time at the end. I told them they shouldn't make assumptions and shouldn't waste my time. Years ago. During a heavy drug fueled bender at a London festival. I walked up to some policemen and said guess what I'm on. Semicolon. They smirked and told me to move on. Excuse me officer. Would you like to see my dick? Seriously. I have no idea why I wasn't arrested or at least accosted. Sure. I was standing in my yard. But I was underage and obviously drunk. Friend got pulled over doing about 20 over. We were college kids at the time. Officer walks over to the window does his normal do you know why I pulled you over? Routine and then turns to me when it's all done and asks so should I give your friend here a ticket? Comma. With a smile I said yes sir. He most likely deserves it. Double quote. Cop laughed. Smiled and walked away. Expect you're going to sell me a ticket to the policeman's ball? I offered the officer a donut from the box on my front seat when he pulled me over, due to a burned out tail light. He took two. And gave me a warning to get it fixed a. S. A. P. Did you see the speed limit sign? Double quote. Yes it. I just didn't see you sitting behind it. Double quote. I'll never forget how hard he scrunched his face up trying not to laugh. Hmm. You were driving 20 miles below the speed limit. Me. Yes. Hmm. Why? Me. A cop was following me. Got pulled up very for wearing headphones as a hands-free device. Apparently doing that is illegal in PA. He said it was because then you can't hear sirens so I replied then why can deaf people get driver's licenses? Double quote. Can you say your alphabet to J for me? Double quote. Which one of you dudes is J? Double quote. Best comment of the day. I pulled a cop over one night in my Ford probe about 25 years ago on a dare. He pulled his cruiser over. I got out, walked over, and asked him if he knew why I had pulled him over. He says no. I say, I pulled you over because you have a taillight out. I'm going to let you go with just a warning this time. Get it fixed. He burst out laughing and said he was very sorry and he'd get it replaced. We grinned at each other and left. My friend who dared me to do it just sat there with her mouth open in my passenger seat. No one dared me to do anything else ever again.